Good morning. I hope everybody had a restful night and a good breakfast. Um, and we're hanging out with mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, our siblings, um, our relatives that we live with. And I um, hope you got to go outside yesterday. The sun came out for just a little bit, but it's raining again. Um, miss you guys like crazy. Miss you, miss you, miss you, miss you. It's just, I'm ready for us to be back together. But in the meantime, I got another book. Got another book. Chimpanzees for tea. Hmm. Look at the cover of the book. What in the world is going on? Okay. So it looks like we've got a bear. We've got some chimpanzees. Eating a sandwich. What? Eating a sandwich. Okay. Ooh. Look at this bird. His face. <laughs> I'd be running away too. What if these animals have gone crazy? Oh. And there's a human character on the cover. I guess we'll have to see what happens. But chimpanzees for tea. What is your prediction? Just based on the cover of the book. And also, chimpanzees. What we know, where would all of these animals, what place, what location, what setting would they be in? All together in the same place. Maybe a zoo. Maybe a zoo. It looks like this bear, he's getting wheeled out on a go-kart or something by this by this boy. Uh, and chimpanzees don't drink tea, or do they? I don't know. I don't think so. We'll have to figure it out. Parents. I don't if you have not heard your child practice um, pounding out syllables uh, for different words. <laughs> We have a super fun song that we do in our classroom um, when we introduce new words and just to work on just dif different syllable work and it's pretty engaging. Um, so we are going to do that for you now before we start the read and figure out how many syllables are in the word chimpanzees. Ready? Ooh. Look at the end of the word. Suffix S. When we add suffix S to the end of a word, does it make it Plural, or is it singular? Chimpanzees. Is that one or more than one? We'll have to see. Ready? Bippity boppity bumblebee, tell me what your name should be. Chimpanzees. Clap it. Chimpanzees. Whisper. Silent. How many syllables? How many syllables? Three? Did you guess three? And, and parents, you can do that with objects at home. Um, students, I know that we use each other's names um, in the classroom, and sometimes the kids will uh, give nicknames, which is all, it's always really fun and super interesting to hear uh, their nicknames, and sometimes those change. They, they change weekly. So uh, here we go. What do we know about chimps? What do we know about bears? What do we know about birds? What do we know about sandwiches? Okay. We gotta see what all, what's going on here because this cover's just crazy. Okay. Chimpanzees for Tea by Joe Empson. Hey Vincent, this cupboard is looking a bit bare. Can you rush to the shops? Like he's working on working on something there. And get a bunch of carrots, a box of rice, some tasty cheese, a big firm pear, and a can of peas. And hurry home in time for tea. So his mom sounds like he's going shopping for mom. Hopefully he'll remember everything. Good day, Vincent. Sorry, can't stop, Mr. Singh. I've got to rush to the shops and get a bunch of carrots, a box of rice, a tasty cheese, some big firm pears, a can of peas, and hurry home in time for tea, but... Uh-oh. But... Oh, no! The list! Looks like the wind caught it. 
Uh-oh, what do you think he's going to do? I mean, he could go back home and ask his mom for a new list. He said it a couple times. Maybe he'll remember an item or two. No. We're going to have to see what the solution to this problem is. What was it? Um, a bunch of carrots? Uh, a box of rice? Some tasty cheese? A big firm pear? A trapeze! And hurry home in time for tea. Hey, Vincent! Sorry, can't stop, Mr. Small. So it looks like he's passing a circus. I've got to rush to the shops and get a bunch of carrots, a box of rice, some tasty cheese, uh, uh, and a big furry bear, a trapeze, and hurry home in time for tea. Hey, Vincent. Sorry, can't stop, Mr. Wood. I've got to rush to the shops and get a bunch of carrots, a box of rice, some chimpanzees, a big furry bear, a trapeze, and hurry home in time for tea. So it's like he's taking all of these zoo uh, or circus animals uh, home to his mom to drink tea with mom. To this sweet Vincent. Sorry, can't stop me into your bags. I've got to rush to the shops and get a bunch of carrots, a box of mice, some chimpanzees, a big furry bear, a trapeze, and hurry home in time for tea. Ah, Vincent! Sorry, can't stop, Mr. Ray. I've got to rush to the shops and get a bunch of parrots, a box of mice, some chimpanzees, a big furry bear, a trapeze, hurry home, and invite them all in for tea. It's a very interesting spread, the display of food that they have. Um, there's there's a lot going on here. It looks like mom <laughs> is uh, pretty pretty surprised, maybe a little bit shocked. Um, so yeah. Um, so we started off the original list that his mother, grandmother, aunt, sister gave to him: a box, or a bunch of carrots, a box of rice, tasty cheese, a big firm pear, and a can of peas. And it went from that. To a bunch of parrots, a box of mice, some chimpanzees, a big furry bear, a trapeze, just to, to gather them all up and take them home for tea. Take them home for tea. It's a pretty cute little book. Um, a couple of these books that I've read this week, um, if you haven't heard, it's a Dolly Parton Imagination Library. I know that some of the local banks... Um, have a partnership, uh, one that I know for sure is First Security Bank, that um, if you open up a savings account for your child, and um, it's like $5 to open one, um, from the time they're of age zero to five or six, um, they have a website and all of that, uh, they get a free book every month until a certain age. I, think, I mean, I think that's, I think that's awesome. Um, okay, a couple stories. What is one thing that the boy was supposed to get? One thing. Not, not the trapeze artist, not the bear, because I don't think mom needed those things to cook. One thing. What did he come home with? Name one thing that he came home with. Okay. What was the biggest surprise to you? Was it that he lost the list? Was it that he rolled a bear home? He pulled a bear into his house. Pretty strong. Pretty, uh, pretty, pretty strong kid. Um, again, we're going to hop off here and find some different um, objects and stuff in your home for your kids to do some work with some syllables and uh, I'm going to hop over and we're going to do try to do a zoom and if it doesn't work 
trial and error. It's okay. We will figure it out. Um, but I hope y'all are all staying safe, healthy, washing your hands, enjoying this time at home with your family. If you have any questions about your AMI work, please let me know. Um, and I just wanted to, I miss you guys, and I love each and every one of you, and I'm ready for us to be back together, but I'll see you soon. Bye.